Hello everyone, my name is Chihiro Goto, a master's student from the University of Tokyo. The title of our paper is Data Driven Garmin Pattern Estimation from 3D Geometries. Recently, technologies for recapturing 3D geometry of a person have been actively developed. However, there are only few technologies for estimating Garmin pattern from captured data. As a result, it is difficult to animate the clothing. In this paper, we present a technique to estimate a garment pattern from a scan of 3D geometry of a person. There are many studies related to clothing, such as reconstruction of garments from 3D scans or images. There are also some studies that reconstruct patterns from images, sketches, and 3D human models. However, it remains challenging to estimate a 2D garment pattern directly from scanned 3D geometry. In this paper, we present a method which uses the power of image-based deep learning. This is the overview of our method. First, we estimate multi-view garment pattern label images from 2D normal images. Second, we project the estimated pattern images onto the 3D mesh. Finally, we flatten the 3D pattern into 2D plane. Before proceeding to the first step, we explain the creation of the dataset and the training of the network. This is a dataset generation overview. For dataset, we use SMPL model and our in-house closed simulation method, and we created 3D mesh of a closed human. For closed simulation, we used the finite element method, or FEM, and the garment patterns we created. Then, the mesh model was rendered as a normal map and a color-coded pattern map. To increase variation in the dataset, we prepared three different sleeve length patterns and five different SMPL models to run Garmin simulations for each of them. Therefore, the total number of data type was 15. After simulating each data type, we rendered them in normal and pattern maps and took 100 images of each. In the end, with 100 images for 15 types, a total of 1,500 data is generated. We divided these data into 1,400 pieces of training data, 80 pieces of evaluation data, and 20 pieces of testing data. We used a unit-based neural network as our learning model. As an input, the model takes an image of 256 by 256 pixels with three RGB channels, and it produces an image of the same size with five channels as output. In the output image, each channel corresponds to a different part of a pattern, and each pixel has the probability of belonging to that type of a pattern. To calculate the cross entropy, the most probable pattern type of the five channels is picked up for each pixel and put into a single one-hot representation. The label data is also converted to the same format, and the model is trained minimizing the cross-entropy loss between the output and the label. This is the convergence of the training, and you can see that it mostly converges in about 30 epochs. Next, let's move on to the description of the runtime workflow. To use our system, we first render the 3D object as a normal map from several viewpoints. Next, we input all of those normal maps into a trained network to get estimated patterns as a label for each pixel. Finally, 
by projecting the resulting patterns onto a 3D mesh. A 3D estimated pattern can be reconstructed on the mesh. To reconstruct a 3D pattern from multi-view 2D images, we took following two steps. The first step is projection. In this step, we shoot rays from triangle vertices to the image to get corresponding pattern information for the mesh. Since the accuracy of the prediction depends on the angle from which the triangle is viewed, we integrated the images from each direction by weighting the inner product of the ray and the normal direction of the triangle. Occluded triangle vertices are not included in the calculation. As a result, we could successfully project multiple images from each direction. The second step is relaxation. This process is necessary to improve the pattern estimation accuracy because in occluded areas, the pattern cannot be predicted adequately. In this step, we diffuse probabilities by computing the weighted average values among the original triangle and its three neighboring triangles. In our experiment, we repeated this diffusing operation 20 times. The result shows that the occluded areas are successfully filled in this step. Next, let's talk about the last step, flattening. We applied a flattening method suggested in a previous work to our process. The first step is to find the central triangle for each pattern part. To do this, we use the Dijkstra algorithm to find the shortest path from the edge. The triangle furthest from the edge of the pattern, found by this method, will be the central triangle. Next. We find a geodesic distance from the center triangle to each triangle in the pattern, again using the extra algorithm. Finally, we apply exponential map method, an algorithm for converting 2D patterns to 3D shape surfaces, to flatten the patterns from the mesh to 2D plane. These are the flattening results for test input geometry. The results on the synthesized test data are almost comparable to the ground truth. These are the results for unknown input geometry. We could obtain garment pattern from an input geometry without any pattern information. This compares the result of a projecting from two viewpoints with the result of a projecting from four viewpoints. The result from only two viewpoints show a larger error in the shoulder area on both left and right sides, while the results from four viewpoints show a significant improvement. There are also minor improvements in the sleeve length and hem edges. In conclusion, we have achieved to predict a garment pattern from 3D geometry by three steps. That is, multi-view estimation, projection, and flattening. For future work, we would like to smooth out edges of jagged pattern, estimate the stretch of the fabric to get accurate pattern shape, and test our method on various types of clothing other than t-shirts. Thank you for listening to our presentation.